Hello, hello, hello. This is Apostle Brian Charles, my beautiful wife, Prophet Debbie. Hello. How are you doing? Welcome to Calling the Remnant, a ministry of Judah Tree Ministries. Um, we have been enjoying ourselves yes. today. Yes, we have. <laughs> <laughs> amen, amen, amen. So what I'd like to do is go to prayer. Um, I know that there's a lot of things that are going on in the world right now, and sometimes if we don't have our minds on Jesus and our hearts on Jesus, you know, we can allow the stress that this world is going through, the, the, the turmoil and the trouble, right, to burden us down. But there's rest in Jesus. Yes, Amen. there is. Amen. So while you're listening to this broadcast, what I want you to do is remember that we want the victory is in Jesus. So we are a victorious church and a victorious people. Yes. So there's no need to take on doubt. There's no need to take on the stress. No need to look at what's going on through the mindset of the world because we have the mind of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father Amen. God, we come before your throne of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me thanks and praise for all that you have done for us. We thank you, Father God, that you allow our tongues to be that as the pen of a ready writer, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that the words that you give us, Father God, as we speak these words, Father God, it will be received in the eye gates and the ear gates, Father God, going to the hearts of those, Father God, who, who believe your word, Father God, who receive this word, and this word, Father God, will set free, deliver, and heal souls, mind, wills, and emotions in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 So last uh, segment, we talked about the church, and we're going to go ahead and continue on that line of, of, of thought, we, we talked about original intent, how God intended for, the, for his bride to be a reflection of Jesus Christ, right? Yes. Fear as a moon, bright as, as, as clear as the sun, terrible as, a, as an army with banners, right? That's the church of Jesus Christ. And although she's been beat up some, and, and a lot of that's because of preachers, Let's be real. It has the five-foot ministry gift, right? Mm -hmm. Living off the church instead of feeding the church and preparing the church for the coming of Jesus, right? But God has is is actually shaking leadership. Yes. See. And taking those with the old wine skins that won't receive new wine, new revelation, new marching orders. See, doing away with the Moses anointing and bringing in Joshua, who are trained the people how to fight and possess their land. Because that's the purpose of the fivefold ministry gift. To train up the body of Christ, to equip them. See, to bring them up so that they're perfect or mature in Christ Jesus. So that they are walking as a reflection of Jesus Christ and not a reflection of a ministry. Right. That's kind of deep, so I'm going to say it again. Yes, you should. So the, the church is walking as the reflection of Jesus Christ and not walking as a reflection of a ministry. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Because it's Jesus Christ who suffered for us. It's Jesus Christ who sacrificed all for us. It's Jesus Christ who redeemed us and brought us back out of bondage and out of sin and out of sickness and out of disease so that we can have a relationship with God the Father. Yes. Wasn't Corned pastor it. wasn't pastor so and so, sister her and them? No, wasn't okay. pastor so and so, sister her and them. That's right. See, and see, if you're religious minded, you might think mm. that we're speaking blasphemy against the church. But no, no, oh. no, no. See, the church has been sent here with specificity and purpose by Jesus Christ. The church was actually something in the mind of God that he created and envisioned before the world was formed. You, believer in Jesus Christ, you are the church. See, for so many years, actually millennia, governments had, 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 had really tricked the church into thinking that the church was a building. That the church was some temple, some Catholic mausoleum, some 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 
some big structure that as you paid your tithes and gave your offerings to the church, this established thing of brick and mortar. But even as far back as the book of Isaiah, God said, no, I'm, I'm going to get me a people. I'm going to walk in them and, and talk in them, and I'm going to be their God, and they're going to be my people. See, So the church, the ecclesia, the called-out citizens of heaven, and we're going to get into that, mm -hmm. that's the body of Christ. See, you are the body of Christ. You are the bride. You are, you are he or she who Jesus Christ came and died for. Yes, you are. But he didn't stop there. No. He went down there and gave the devil a, 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 a one-piece, two-piece, three-piece foot sandwich. <laughs> yes, yes. And took everything that he took from Adam. The Bible said he spoiled principalities and powers and made a show of them openly. Mm -hmm. He lassoed that devil, see, and conquered him and then resurrected in newness of life so that we can have newness of life too. We are the church. Now watch this. We're going to go to the book of Ephesians chapter 1. Because see, Jesus Christ resurrected and he ascended up into heaven. We see that in the book of Acts chapter 1. But what I think sometimes we forget is that he tag teamed the Spirit of God and sent the Holy Spirit who is God here to dwell in us inside of us. So that the same God that was in Jesus Christ manifesting heaven upon the earth is the same God that's in us to manifest that's heaven right. upon the earth. That's right. Amen. Now watch this. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God to the saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us, past tense, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Now that word Christ is not Jesus' last name. That word Christ is the Messiah, the anointed one in his anointing. Right. So he's blessed with all spiritual blessings in the anointing. That's why Jesus Christ told the apostles in John 15 to abide in him. Mm -hmm. That if you abide in me, I will abide in you. See, as a branch cannot survive, Outside the vine. Right. See, now watch this. Verse 4. According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. See, if you're a blood brought believer and you name the name of Jesus Christ, understand that there's nothing that's happened in your life that was a mystery to heaven. There is absolutely not one thing that has happened in your life that has been a mystery to God. It's not like God said up there and said, oh, my goodness, did you see what happened to Peter? Oh, my. That didn't happen? Child, child, child. Debbie, did you see what happened to Debbie? And look at Brian. Oh, my. How is he going to get by, Holy Ghost? Uh, Jesus, how is he going to make it? I don't know, Father. No, 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 no. See, no. that's religion. Yeah. See, see that, 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 that's a mystery, God. See, but our God is not a mystery. Now, watch this. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy. Now, let's stop right there. Stop right there. You mean I can't work? No. No. I, I can't work? No. I can't be in the choir and, and singing and giving glory to God and then pumping Megan, Megan the Stallion on my way from church to the house? No, you cannot. No. We can't be talking about what? No. No? No, none of that. No? No? No. You can't be lusting after somebody else's husband or I wife? Can't. I, no. You can't? No. I can't lust after a man? No. You can't lust after a woman? No. You can't steal from your job? What? No. I, we can't? No. Holy. See, see, holy is not 
a tight bun and a long dress. Right. Holiness is the condition of your heart, heart. towards God. Amen. See. He doesn't want to have sin in our inward parts. See, he wants us to love him so much and desire him so much that we want to be like him so much mm -hmm. that the taste of our flesh for the world is drowned out by the power and desire of our spirit for him. Yes. See, 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 that, that's, Watch this. Hold your place in Ephesians chapter 1. And as you watch the broadcast, you're going to learn you're going to be doing that a lot. Go, <laughs> go to chapter, chapter 17 of the Gospel of John. Chapter 17 of the Gospel of John. And this is the prayer of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane for those who, who, who don't realize what this prayer really is. This, they call it the Lord's, the, Jesus' intercessory prayer, but it's truly the Lord's prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane. God praying over his, his, his apostles. God, Jesus praying over the church, over the seeds that he's, that he's about to leave that are going to be planted in Jerusalem and give birth to the greatest thing since Jesus Christ, which is the church. Now watch this. Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power, authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God in Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. So it's not being born again and saved. It's not an escape from hell card. It's, 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 it's not an entrance of membership to a church. It's not, it's not that. Yeah. The purpose of Jesus Christ was to redeem fallen man back to God so God can have his family back. So that we can know him, have an experiential knowledge of him, and walk in newness of life with him and understand the purpose of Jesus Christ and the purpose of the church upon planet Earth. You see, everything God does, he does with specificity. He's tactical. He's a planner. The Bible says, I believe it's in the book of Job, it says he took a piece of dust and weighed the piece of dust in the span. And by the calculation of a piece of dust in a span, he calculated where to place the, the planets in the universe. He's a mighty God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. But he does not do anything by, 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 by circumstance uh -uh. or happenstance. And he did not create you by happenstance. Everything is on purpose. Everything is on purpose. Now watch this. And this is life eternal. That they may know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Now hold that thought. Verse 4. According as he has chosen in him, as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Not not oppression, not, what's that word, uh, a condemnation, not uh, beat up, not in ritual, not in religion, not, not in hard work and grind and trying to earn your position in the kingdom, not, not because of works and you doing all these works to show God that you're holy so that he can bless you. No, 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 no. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. It's his will that you are saved. It's his will that you be holy. It's his will that you understand and have experiential knowledge of his love. Amen. See, this, this is the church. See, it, 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 it's not the person that goes into a building that sits and then stands and claps and sits and sings and a tear falls and sits and hears a message and goes back home the same way they came. See. But it's for God to have a people that so look like him 
that so is that they're so in love with him that they walk out the desires of his heart and walk in the ministry of reconciliation to those who have fallen, oh, but to oh. those who do not know him, to those who are in bondage, to those who are blind, to those who are lame, to those who are deaf and can't hear the gospel because they're stuck on the dictates of this world system, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. See, God wanted the world, he wanted his people back, so he sowed his seed, his son as a seed, into 12. One had a devil. Those 11 were therefore sowed into the world and gave birth to the Jerusalem church that some Josephus said was 50,000 strong. Mm. And it's by the persecution that was against that first church, listen, it was because of the persecution that was against that first church that they cling so closely to Jesus. They cling so closely to the Father. See, So much so that if somebody died, they knew to go get Peter. If somebody needed to be healed, they knew to go get John. See, And it kept on happening until they didn't have to go get Peter. They didn't have to go get John. They'd go get Philip. They can go get Stephen. And a deacon could change a city upside down. See, this is, this is where we're going. Will you believe that you are predestined in Jesus Christ to be adopted as a child of God and to walk as the heir of Jesus Christ upon this earth? Now, see, we've heard this message in reference to money. See? Yes. He became poor so we could be rich, so we can have our money, we can have our jets, we can have our... No, 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 no. Hear it in the way that God intended for you to hear it. See? Not that God has poverty for the church, the devil's a liar. If we really thought that God wanted us to be in poverty, why would we work? Why would he demand that let him to stole still no more, but let him rather work with his hands the thing that's good so he can have to give to him that needs? All right. Amen? Amen. But this is what God wanted you to understand by the scripture, by being the heir of Jesus Christ. It means you're an heir of all that heaven has. Money is, 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 is just a tool. It's just a tool. The riches is to have Jesus. Yes. The riches is to have the Father speaking to you in the cool of the day. Have the Holy Ghost come and give you a visitation as you sleep at night. And he allows you to look past the curtain and see into heaven. Yeah. That, that, that's rich. That's the true riches. Now watch this. Go to the book of, same book, Ephesians. Go with me to verse 14 of chapter 2, and then we'll hop back to Ephesians 1. Before I do that, do you, you, you want to say something? I do. Um, I want to make sure that you understand what we're saying when we talk about the church. There's a time when we talk about the church, us, the children of God, we are the church, we are the bride, and then there's a church building. We're not saying and we're not condemning coming together as a body of Christ in a church building not at all. because the, the word tells us that we're supposed to do that. But what we're telling you is that you need to check the temperature of the church that you're going to against this word. Are they teaching you this word? Are they teaching you how to be holy? Are they showing you, are they walking out that holiness as an example for you. If you're not seeing that, then you need to find another building to go to, find another ministry that's teaching you this word. Amen. That is preparing you, preparing you to be the bride of Christ, preparing you so that when he comes back, we can stand before him holy and blameless. Amen, that's okay? good, that's good, that's good. The whole purpose 
of Judy Tree Ministries and really every Holy Ghost birth ministry is to strengthen the bride. That's right. To take the, the images and the pictures that religion and the world system has painted and laid before her face so she can see that, no, that's not what it is. That's right. So she can realize that she is supposed to be a reflection of Jesus Christ upon the earth. See, the Holy Ghost took me to a place and, and he said something to me. He said, Jesus Christ is the mind of God given to man. And, and I had to think about that, babe. Mm -hmm. Prophet Dan. I, I had to think about that. What, what do you mean Jesus Christ is a mind of God given to man? He, he is a representation of God's mind towards us. It means every time you see Jesus heal somebody, that's God's mind towards you. Mm -hmm. Every time you saw Jesus Christ deliver somebody, that's God's mind towards you. Every time Jesus Christ gave somebody a financial breakthrough, that's God's mind through Jesus Christ's life towards you. Jesus Christ is a reflection of the mind of God from heaven. He is a reflection of heaven's purpose and heaven's desire for your life. See, that, that's who you are. And that's who he is. But we can't line up with that reflection if we're not in this. That's right. If we're in religion and if we're in tradition, trying to work our way into something and not receiving all that Jesus Christ has done for us by faith, standing in his grace, his unmerited favor for us, then we're, 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 we're chasing our tails. But that's, that's one of the lies of religion is that you have to work for it. Come on. We can't work for salvation. We can't work. It's God's grace and his, his love for us that we are in the position that we're in. It's his love that sent Jesus to the cross to die for us, to reconcile us back to him. That's right. There's nothing that I can do to earn that. Absolutely not. In this skin, absolutely not. Nothing that we can do as we are this flesh on this planet to earn that. Come on. Nothing. Come on. And so that's religion's lie that tells you you have to do this. You have to walk this way. You got to bow this way five times and, and pay this penance and do this and do. That is a lie of the enemy, an absolute lie. Get in this word and know what this word says and step out of religion. I'm not going to go to hell because I have on pants or earrings. That is a lie. That's a lie. That, but there's so, so much of that has been ingrained in our society that that's what we see and that's what we think of God. And we put God in this box. And he is so much bigger than that. And he loves us so much more than that. Come on. And if we were to step back and th just think about it, think about the fact that God loved us so much that he sent Jesus to the cross for us, knowing every single thing that we would do. Because like you said, nothing is a surprise to God. So he knew every single mistake. Every time you trip up, he already knew it was going to happen. And he loves you anyway. Come on. He sent his son for you anyway. If we focused on that and not all the mess that the world tells yes. us, we would yes. be in so much better place yes. if we just focused on yes. that and understood that in here to the point where we walk that out in our lives every day and not let the, the enemy trick you with condemnation. Oh, I, God can't love me because I did this and God can't love me because I did that. Come on. Come on. Can, can you read chapter 2, verses 4 through 6 in the Amplified? Ephesians 4. Sorry, Ephesians, Ephesians 2, two. 4 through 6. Mm -hmm. But God, being so very rich in mercy because of his great and wonderful love with which he loved us, even when we were spiritually dead and separated from him because of our sins, he made us spiritually alive again with Christ. For by his grace, his undeserved favor and mercy, wow. you have been saved from God's judgment. And he raised us up together with him when we believed and seated us with him in heavenly places because we are in Christ Jesus. Might as well read that all the way to verse 10. Okay. <laughs> and he did this so that in the ages to come, he might clearly show the immeasurable and unsurpassed riches of his grace and his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus by providing for our redemption. For it is by grace God's remarkable compassion and favor drawing you to Christ that you have been saved, actually delivered from judgment and given eternal life through faith. And this salvation is not of yourselves, not through your own effort, but it is the undeserved gracious gift of God, not as a result of your works, nor your attempts to keep the law, 
so that no one will be able to boast or take credit in any way for his salvation. For we are his workmanship, his own masterwork, a work of art, created in Christ Jesus, were born from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, ready to be used for good works. For God prepared for us beforehand, taking paths which he set so that we would walk in them, living the good life which Amen. he prepared, prearranged and made ready for us. Amen. 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 Having predestinated us into the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. There's a whole lot in that. There's a whole lot. And right now we don't have the time to unpack it. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> we don't. So I want you to tune in next time to Calling the Remnant, a broadcast of Judah Tree Ministries. God is breathing on his bride. He's reminding us who we are because we have so much work to do. But we can't do it in the law. No. We, we can't do it in religion. No, we can't do it broken up. We can't. Not knowing who we are. We can't. Not knowing the power that he's given us. There's we no can't. way. We, we can't. can't do it in our flesh. No. It can't be done. No. The only way we can withstand what has come upon the earth is by standing in faith. Yes. Receiving his grace. Yes. Wrapped up in his love for us. Amen. Knowing that he cares for us. And knowing that everything that we're seeing right now is not a mystery to him. Mm. We were found in him before the foundation of the world. There's nothing that we see. There's nothing that we, we're hearing right now that's a mystery. The people that are in leadership, he already knew they would be in leadership because he allowed them to be in leadership because he's God. Yes. See, he is the God. We're the ambassadors of the kingdom. Yes. Coming to turn this world upside down. That's right. Thank you for joining us. Calling the remnant. Thank you for listening to us. We ask that you receive all that heaven has given to say to you. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Good God bless. bless. Love you. Bye-bye.